In this video I will describe the life and legacy of Wilhelmina Cooper, her achievements, and a brief overview of her dietary habits as well as the circumstances surrounding her death. Welcome to my channel The Chic Life, our goal is to inspire you with stories of people in the world of fashion and much more. Please watch till the end as I have a surprise historical footage of Wilhelmina, there are not many videos of her so I would love to share this one today. Many of you are familiar with the modeling agency Wilhelmina models that have launched the careers of many successful supermodels, but did you know the woman behind the agency had a glamorous and tough life? This is the story of Wilhelmina Cooper, a supermodel who left a legacy on the world fashion industry. I hope you enjoy this video, and if you are not subscribed yet, please do so you don't miss great videos coming up. Wilhelmina was born on May 1, 1939 in Kilimborg, Netherlands. Her parents were Willem Robert Carl and Maria Magdalena de Groot. She also had a little brother named Walter Gunther. Her early years were marked by the World War II. Her little brother died in a tragic car accident at the age of three. After that the family relocated multiple times. In 1942, the family moved to Oldenburg, Germany, but they later relocated to Chicago, United States in 1954, Wilhelmina was 15 years old. Her first experiences in the world of fashion occurred in Europe. She loved visiting second-hand stores where she could find fashion magazines. She was inspired by the models on the magazines. She started her modeling career when she was a teenager. In 1956 at the age of 17, she borrowed money from her father to attend modeling school, on stage she asked to be called Winnie Hart. She graduated from high school in 1958 and joined the Models Bureau in New York City. Her good looks and perfect poise made her get the attention of major fashion photographers and designers. By 1960s, she had become one of the most iconic models of the time. She had a classic beauty, and her style was very elegant, setting her apart from other models. Wilhelmina was featured on the covers of numerous American and European magazines. She was highly sought after for cover shoots because of her striking presence. It is estimated she appeared on in 255 magazine covers during her career. One of the most notable ones was the cover of Vogue magazine a record of 27 times. Her portfolio included other prestigious publications such as Harper's Bazaar, Elle and others. Her career took her to some of the most renowned fashion houses and designers in the world. She was the muse to top designers and walked the runways for high-end brands such as Coco Chanel, Christian Dior, high-end couture. Apart from her runway and campaign, she was also a highly sought-after model for editorial spreads in fashion magazines. She embodies various styles and looks. She conquered the runways of London, Paris, and Milan. Unfortunately her dietary habits were extreme. She shared once that she was on a continuous diet that consisted of limited food intake. She mentioned she only ate twice a week, and she would be smoking cigarettes and drinking black coffee all the time. She would have soup or cheese on Wednesdays. She would eat red meat on Sundays without any salt or sauce, and she would have a drink of tomato juice regularly. She was on a lot of pressure to maintain her slender figure, which was key to prevail in the fashion industry. Her love life was both successful and turbulent. She tied the no with Victor Bruce Cooper in 1965. He was a former executive producer of The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. They had a good relationship, but reports suggest that he struggled with alcoholism. They had two children, a son named Kimball Cooper and a daughter named Melissa Cooper. Despite the challenges of their relationship with Bruce, she was a dedicated mother to their children. Wilhelmina's life took a tragic turn when she was diagnosed with lung cancer in the late 1970s. She died on March 1, 1980, at the age of 40. Her death was a loss to the fashion industry, but her legacy lives on through her contributions to the modeling world and her impact on the careers of countless models she mentored. Wilhelmina, impact on the modeling world goes beyond he own supermodel career. In the late 1960s she co-founded Wilhelmina Models, her own modeling agency based in New York City. This agency became one of the most influential agencies in the world. Wilhelmina Models launched the careers of several renowned models like Gia Garangi, who became one of the first supermodels. 
Another legendary model is Iman. Iman is the Somali America model and actress. The agency represented models of various races, sizes, backgrounds, helping to challenge the beauty standards of the industry. Wilhelmina models approach to model with key values such as diversity and inclusivity. Another value the agency was known is empowerment as Wilhelmina Cooper was not just an agent, she was a mentor and a mother figure to young models. The agency was known for its professionalism and commitment to success of the models it represented. The agency maintained good relationships with photographers, designers and clients ensuring the best opportunities. The agency is also known for its integrity when dealing with both models and clients. Wilhelmina believed in nurturing talent from young models and helped them develop their careers. In essence they became a platform for positive change in the modeling world, they had a high standard for the industry. After her passing in 1980, Wilhelmina Models continued to operate and grow under new leadership. The agency maintained its prominence in the modeling industry and has achieved several accomplishments, and they continue to represent numerous models, adapting new trends and embracing diversity and inclusivity promoting different backgrounds, gender identifies, and sizes. Over the years it has continued to identify promising models and forming partnerships with brands, fashion and entertainment industries to provide the best opportunities for its models. Wilhelmina's story is one of determination and resilience, she left an incredible mark on the fashion world. I think your height is the only thing that really is a problem that we need to hit on, and, and it's because you're short. It doesn't necessarily have to be a negative, but it's not a positive, we need you know, to deal with it that way. I think the next step is to, is to talk with Wilhelmina. Okay. Okay. How tall are you? Just 5'7". Five, 5'7". Seven. Five, seven. Five, seven. Is that honest? Well, we'll measure you. Yeah. Okay. How much do you weigh? Um, I could guess around 115. 115? Hmm. I love the way you look. I think that you really have a very, very good look for this business. I would say yes, I'd really like to try it with you, but... Now come the negatives. <laughs> I think what we have to do is first of all lose some weight, okay? Because it's going to help you here. Now turn your face profile, let's see. Very nice profile, but you can still use the, the weight loss in this area, yeah. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And as far as your hair is concerned, we'll keep it that length for now. But a little longer wouldn't hurt, really. Yeah. I don't want you to cut at all, okay? Okay. And we'll change your eyebrows a little tiny bit. And that should really do the trick, because I really like this. Why don't we take your height measurements? Right. You, can you take your shoes on? Sure. Okay. And let's see how really tall you are. Okay? That makes it five seven. All right. Now, would you step on the uh, scale? Uh, let's see what happens. Hey, look at that. Do you know what we're going to have to do? We'll work on a diet together, but I want you to take off at least eight pounds. Okay? Put your shoes back on. Okay. 